This tutorial is uh, an introduction to the second tutorial uh, in 2351, and that is uh, assignment 02. And uh, we're going to cover just kind of an overview of what uh, the initial file you're going to have and, uh, and kind of give you a layout of what the, uh, what's there. Okay, let's do this as quick as we can. Here we're looking at an image of the site. This is the topography of the site. If we open up the site floor plan, okay, we're going to see that uh, the site's 110 feet by 60 feet. Uh, you'll see a property line right here. That's the boundary of the property that we're going to build this little house. This is the location of that house. And what you see here is a series of grids that I've already put in. And grids, if we, as we've talked about in class, are the location uh, of structure. In other words, uh, the grid structure uh, identifies where different portions of the structure are going to be located. These are grid lines, right? The grid lines. Uh, as you can see, there's a series across here and a series across here. I'll go into more detail what those mean later. Uh, the site slopes a little bit. It slopes from uh, here to the back of the lot. Uh, the front is facing south um, and it slopes to the back of the lot. And that is about only a one foot slope. So it's a very gentle slope. It's not much of a slope. It's almost flat. And then, so as you can see, there's the topo lines. Those are at four inch increments. So it slopes from here to here, four inches, here to here, four, another four inches, and then on down to uh, 12 inches down to here. Uh, you'll also see if we zoom in here, you'll see a curb. Okay, there's the curb, and then there's a street, and then there's a sidewalk that's been placed in here just to kind of give it some context. And those are all uh, off of this, those are easements given off of the site. Now let's take a look at uh, a section through the whole site. Okay, so we can see a whole section here. Uh, a particular line should be, and you'll notice that these are the grid lines. Okay, their location uh, in in the vertical. Okay, uh, and then you'll see a series of uh, levels that I've created for you, okay? And among those levels are, uh, well, we need to bring some of these down. Okay. So you'll see there's a, a finished floor, okay? Our finished floor is going to be above uh, the existing topology, and uh, it at least has to be one foot uh, above the curb, okay. So it would it would at least have to be one foot by curb by code, and then uh, right here we can see the this is the top of the, what is called the stem wall, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. And then uh, the street level, okay. There's a level I created that uh, signifies the street level, and then you can see the top of the footing level. So there's several. Uh, settings that have been already in there uh, and we can adjust those if, if we wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, so those are uh, the, the site section. If we go back to the site, that's this section right here, the section line that you see right here that's cutting through. Um, you'll also see if we go to the first floor, you saw it in that section. If you go to the first floor, um, you'll see a series of sections here. These, when you see this symbol, that usually means that this is a wall section versus a, a building section. In other words, it's going to go through a wall. And I've already created these sections for you so that they would be located in the right place. Uh, and as we use them, you'll see them right over here. There's a wall section five which is cutting uh, the, wall, uh, the wall at grid, grid line five. And then there's a wall section G, which is cutting the, uh, across G. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not there right now, but we'll get it there in a minute.
So um, that's the overall layout. And what we're going to do is place a, a building, a 1,280 square foot building. Uh, it's going to look something like this right here. Okay. So let's scroll up here. A, a house, a, little, a real simple house, 1,280 square feet, uh, 48 inches long, uh, 32 feet wide. 48 feet long 32 feet wide or 28 feet wide i'm sorry and uh that's the basic layout you can see this is a living room dining uh kitchen uh that will eventually fill in and then three three bedrooms one two three uh one bath right here that's shared uh and is access from outside and then a master bath that's right here and then a closet uh, a master's closet this is a closet closet this is a mechanical room so anyway that's that's what we're what we're going to initially build is the structure none of these interior walls are all interior systems they're all non-load bearing and what we're going to build is this outside wall first which is of course the structural wall okay we are going to do one thing in this uh, tutorial and that is uh, excavate the site using a pad okay and so if we look at our wall section let's uh let's do something here we'll i'm going to type in wt and this is going to tile uh, all the windows and i'm going to close uh, this one okay and i'm going to close uh, I want to keep the 3D one open or the let's keep the 3D one open okay and so we got the 3D right here and then we have our site right there okay and so what we're going to do is excavate this in this tutorial uh, for um, the building and to do that we're going to go into massing in site right here and we're going to go to what is called a building pad okay and we're going to click on building pad and when that building pad comes up, uh, we're going to look at, I've created several. The, the default is this pad one. Uh, you'll see there's a street pad, and then there's an excavation pad. And I created this excavation pad uh, for this project. So you're going to take the excavation pad and select it. Then uh, we want to make sure that it's, it's done on the right level. So we're going to excavate down, all the way down to the top of the uh let's see here top of the footing okay uh, and then we'll dig the footing down into that excavation so we're going to excavate down into the top of the footing and we're going to select and it should be we're going to go from a1 there to all the way over to g5 and we're going to lock these okay to the grid that way if I move the grid then my excavation pad will move along with it and that's all we really need to do and we're going to see that now we've excavated down to this surface right here and that's the surface in which we're going to dig down and place our footings and our uh, foundation in the next uh, video